Hi, I'm Veronica Masek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping, where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. Could your QuickBooks be a mess? One of the ways in which you can prevent your QuickBooks from becoming a mess is to spend a few minutes each month reviewing your books. In this video, I'll show you how to follow a very simple process for checking your own books so that they don't become a huge mess. Here's an example of the review process. First, we want to ensure that there are no old items in the bank feeds window. We'll go to banking. And for each account, we want to look at the transactions that have been downloaded from the bank to make sure that there aren't any old transactions for the month that we're working on. So we're just making sure we didn't forget anything. Next, we want to make sure that all bank and credit card accounts have been reconciled. We'll go to Accounting, Reconcile, click on Summary. And then you'll see for each account, the last uh, statement date that was reconciled and the date that was reconciled. So you just want to make sure that you reconciled all of the accounts for the month that you're working on. Next, you want to ensure that there are no old uncleared transactions in the bank reconciliation window for each account. So we'll go ahead and you can do this a couple of ways. One way is to look at the last reconciliation. And this is the reconciliation report. And we'll scroll down. until you get to the section that says uncleared checks and payments as of the month end date. In this case, the reconciliation was done as of 12-31-2021, and we would be looking for any old transactions uh, that are prior to uh, this date. We actually can see here there are several old transactions. So these would need to be investigated to see why they are uncleared. Perhaps they're duplicates or incorrectly entered transactions. Next, you can review for transactions that are old balances in the undeposited funds account. To see what's in the undeposited funds account, click on the plus sign and select bank deposit. And here we are looking for old transactions. If you remember, we are reviewing this in our sample company as of 12-31-2021. And as you can see that we have several old transactions. So this is a problem. This means that there's something broken in the workflow here and transactions are not being cleared out of the undeposited funds account. This is a very, very common mistake that business owners make with their QuickBooks when they're not trained properly. So all of these will need to be investigated and cleaned up. The next step is to review the profit and loss report for unusual or unexpected balances. From reports, we'll select the profit and loss report I'll run the report from December 1, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. This is the month that we reconciled and that we are now reviewing. So this is one month of activity. And then what you do is you review the accounts and the amounts to see what may look unusual or unexpected. You would review that. Here's a great example. There's uncategorized expense of negative $982.88. Anything that is uncategorized needs to be reviewed and categorized properly. I would also review these job materials. 
so presentation materials and software to see why they're negative. There's probably something in there that's not entered correctly. Normally these are income accounts and shouldn't be negative. They should be positive like this account here. Next, we want to review the balance sheet report for unusual or unexpected balances. From the reports menu, I'll select balance sheet and I will also run it as of December 31, 2021, because we are reviewing as of that date in our sample company. And once again, we are reviewing for numbers that look out of place, large negative balances, unusual amounts, things that maybe look miscategorized. Here's a great example. We have a large negative balance in accounts receivable, and that needs to be reviewed. We have uncategorized asset. So remember what I told you, anything that is uncategorized needs to be reviewed and categorized properly. We have a large negative balance in accounts payable, also negative balances in the credit card accounts, also in the payroll liabilities account. So all of these amounts that look unusual and unexpected need to be reviewed and they need to be corrected. And we have a couple of additional steps in our review. We'll review the accounts receivable aging summary. So from reports, select accounts receivable aging summary and change the date to coincide with the month end date that you are reviewing. Click run report. And you want to review the accounts receivable aging summary for any unusual items, old balances, perhaps customer payments haven't been posted to those um, customer balances. Also look for negative amounts. These are signs of uh, credit balances that haven't been applied to customer payments and perhaps those need to be cleaned up. Do you want to review all the balances for all of the customers and investigate any issues? And finally, we will review the accounts payable aging summary. I have a set here as a favorite, but if it's not listed in your QBO favorites, just look for it in the search field. Change the date, run report, and we're doing a very similar thing here. Just as we reviewed the accounts receivable aging summary, we'll do a very similar review for the accounts payable aging summary. And here we're looking for old balances. Perhaps there are some vendor bills that were entered and uh, not ever marked as paid in QuickBooks. We're looking for negative balances that perhaps are a sign of unapplied vendor credits or perhaps uh, transactions were, that were incorrectly entered and even vendor payments that were not applied to any vendor bills. And again, all of these have to be reviewed and cleaned up if you find any problems. Look for the monthly bookkeeping review checklist in the resources that I provided you and use that every month after you reconcile your bank and credit card accounts to review your QuickBooks and to make sure that everything is recorded properly. Is this content helping you? Then make sure that you comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my latest videos. I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping.